Hi folks, here's a quick video explaining how you can create manual enrol discussion groups in your module. So unlike regular discussion boards, which are not group related, you don't create these in the colourful menu up here, but instead you start with the groups tool. So you go down to course management, users and groups, groups. Once you're in the groups area, because you probably want more than one group, I'm always going to recommend that you use the group set option. So essentially a group set is a group of groups which allows you to manage sort of the general settings at the top level, such as membership on one page, instead of having to click in and out of individual groups. So what we want to do in this case is select the manual enrol option. And what we mean by that is that you are going to be adding the students to the group yourself. OK, then we need to give our group an umbrella sort of title for the, the group set. So this is the group of groups. So we're going to say topic groups. And then we can put in a bit of description about how these groups will be used. And any expectations. And I would say perhaps copy this information into a notepad app or something along those lines. So there's my little notepad there because you might want to then include that in the link we're going to be creating a little bit later on in this tutorial. So I'm just going to keep that handy for later on. We need the group to be visible to students and we want to turn off all the tools in the tool availability list that we're not using. So I've turned off blogs, I'm turning file exchange off, journals, tasks, content tools, wikis, academic materials and Blackboard Collaborate. I am leaving on email because that's always useful to keep on um, just for communication purposes and also for students to communicate with the group. Um, I do tend to turn off the allow any group members to create forums option because we are having one discussion so therefore we just want one forum and so I'd rather just stick to having the, the single forum that's created through this process that we're going through right now. I don't want students to add loads of superfluous conversations, perhaps by accident. So if I keep scrolling down the page, I do tend to leave personalization on because this allows students to change the color scheme of the group, perhaps take a little ownership of the area. Um, and then I create uh, the number of groups I want. So I'm gonna go with three groups and I could choose to tick this little box that says create smart view for each group in the set. Uh, this is useful but just bear in mind that if you do this you are going to need to go and rename those smart views because they will end up with a sort of generic title um, based on what we're going to see on the next screen. So we're going to click on submit now. Okay and now we've got some options so you can randomize enrollments amongst the groups but in this case we, we want very specific enrollments based on topic so um, I'm going to put the topics in here so we're going to go with solar power, um, uh, recycling um, and what else could we have? Uh, green energy more broadly for example. Okay, so now we've got our three discussion groups and um, say I wanted to add instructors who are going to facilitate these groups. Um, I could add them right now, which is a good thing to do. So I can add users with the add users button. And if I want to add an instructor, I have to make sure I click this little ticky box here so that instructors are shown in my list. So once I've clicked the ticky box, I have to click go and then you'll see that the instructors are shown in the list. So that's to show all users regardless of role. So I am a facilitator on this group and I know that students one and student three are in this group with me. So I can click submit and add them to the group right away. So you just repeat this process down the list here. If you've accidentally forgotten a group, you can add extra groups down at the bottom and likewise you can delete groups. So I'm just going to submit this to show you how you get back into these options because uh, it's not always immediately object obvious and it's much easier to manage your group membership in this overview 
area which is part of the group sets tool specifically. So if I hit submit, so you'll see that we're in the groups area. So again, that's you get to that through users and groups. Um, but for the group set enrollment, so being able to enroll everyone on the same page like we just were, go to the group sets option and then click on the edit group set membership option next to that there, next to the actual topic groups label and then you can get back to that page. You see it changed the order a bit but it's just because it takes a bit of time to figure out um, alphabetical order on this page. Uh, so I'll just cancel out of that. Um, if you watch the other video, you can also get to that option from this group set option here as well. So that takes you to exactly the same place. If so now you've created your group set and you've enrolled the students. Uh, there isn't anything else that you need to do because when students have been added, they will automatically get this little my groups link down here on the bottom left hand side so this is great because it will take them right through to the group discussion board they can click on the title of the group discussion board and they can create a thread and start discussing things so perhaps if i can spell <laughs> and then hit submit. So that's how the discussion would show up and then the other students could reply to it. So that is uh, how you can create a group discussion board for manual enrollment.